Let's parse a log file using only cat, grep, and awk. The command cat simply reads the file. It prints it out. It dumps it to your screen. If it's a long file, it's going to fly past extremely fast. Grep is control F in Excel. You're searching for something. You're looking for the word slack space. Looking for the word installed. It is case sensitive, unless you specify certain options, but it is simply a way to search for text. One of the simplest ways to use awk is to return the columns that you specify. By default, this would be the spaces. So if you have a sentence, each word is a unique column. If you want the very first word of the sentence, that is the number one. Now we will put all three of these commands together. We will be working with the pacman.log file. This file contains any time a new package is installed, removed, or updated on my personal system. To begin with, we will cat the file. This will dump the contents out. When looking at this file, we can see that the word installed happens every time a package was, well, installed. So let's try to pull out the date and time, as well as the name of the package, so we can see which packages were installed when. Begin by catting the file, and then we will grep for the word installed, and then we will use awk to print the first and fourth column of the file. We now have a list of just when and which packages were installed. This is not that useful. It shows both the date and the time. What if I just want to see which packages were installed on which day? Let's use awk again, and we will use the dash F option. This changes the delimiter to use. By default, it was a space. By specifying a capital T as the new delimiter, that will actually make our date be the first column, since that is to the left of the capital T. But that alone will only give us the date. If we specify the variable dollar sign zero, that prints the entire line. This will now give us a line that starts with just the day and then the entire original line. Now use awk again with the default delimiter and ask for columns one and three. This will now give us just the date and our package. We now have the data we want, but most of us would want it to look nice as well. So we will do one final awk command and specify the open left bracket as the delimiter, which we will need to escape, and then simply dollar sign two to get the entire line to the right of that open bracket. That's it. We now have a list of dates as well as the packages installed on that day. There is many different ways to accomplish this same result. And that's the fun of Linux. You begin with a few commands that you learn and you connect them together. It was not efficient to use multiple aux for this, but it worked. I hope this was useful for you. If there's other commands or situations you'd like to see simple examples of, let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.